Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Anthony. I'm a student physical therapist and a licensed PTA. The clip you just watched was from UFC 264, which featured the trilogy of Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier. Unfortunately, during that fight, McGregor suffered a fracture to his tibia and his fibula, ultimately ending with him having a broken leg. I'm going to get into that today and everything that led up to it, so stay tuned. So as you can see from this illustration right here, it's the lower leg. The tibia is going to be the big bone on the inside of the leg, and the fibula is going to be the little bone on the outside of the leg. The tibia's main function is to bear weight when we're standing or doing any kind of activity such as running, jogging, jumping, and the fibula is going to act as a stabilizer to support the ankle when we're moving. So what exactly happened? I'm going to start by fast forwarding and then backtracking. As you saw in the intro, which I have a picture right here, it was the end of the first round when McGregor's leg buckled and it looked like an L. That indicated the fracture of the tibia and fibula. It was in that instance that McGregor had to go to the ground because he could no longer bear weight on the leg. At that point, Poirier ended up just going in on him and essentially finishing the fight. Of course, there was a medical stoppage due to the doctor not permitting McGregor to fight or go any further, advancing him to the second round. But it was later indicated that Poirier came out with a statement. He knew that McGregor hurt himself within the first 20 seconds of the fight when he checked one of McGregor's kicks right here. Now, when fighters kick, traditionally they kick with the lower aspect of their leg, which would be the tibia and the ankle, and that puts a lot of stress on it. If they had any prior injuries leading up to the fight, it could end up leading to a break, which in other words is a fracture. So for any of you that have an uneasy stomach or can't handle seeing a bone broke, I advise you fast forward at least 10 to 20 seconds in this video. This is what his leg looked like right here. And I'm just gonna leave it up for a sec. All right, it's down. So that didn't look good. You can see that things weren't in line. What they had to do, they had to come in and brace them up pretty quickly to realign those segments of the bone. Traditionally, that leads to a uh, better recovery because now those bones are back in line versus staying in a ununiform position for a prolonged period of time. After that, they had to go ahead and take him out on a stretcher, which is kind of ironic because leading up to the fight, he told Dustin Poirier that he was going to make sure he was taken out on a stretcher. So kind of a funny twist of events. So what happened next? Well, after the fight, McGregor was rushed to nearby Cedars Sinai Hospital in Southern California where he had surgery performed. Prior to surgery, his leg looked like this. It's just an illustration showing you the fracture to the tibia and to the fibula. After surgery, a statement was released that they put an intramedullary rod in the tibia or a titanium rod into the fibula, they put screws and plates. This keeps those in proper anatomical position and it keeps the fibula attached to the tibia. Now, a few hours after surgery, McGregor tweeted that surgery went excellent, he'll be on crutches for the next six weeks, and he's looking forward to the buildup back. Usually following these kind of injuries, especially with the amount of trauma induced to the lower leg, the prognosis isn't the best, especially for athletes, but McGregor is one of a kind. He's a world-class athlete that has round-the-clock access to physical therapists, massage therapists, chiropractors, athletic trainers, doctors, anything and everything you could think of, this man has access to. So let's get into the contributing factors that could have caused this leading up to the fight. After the injury, McGregor released another statement that he had multiple stress fractures in his lower leg leading up to the fight. It was so severe to the point that he had to wear an ankle brace to even make it through practice. For those of you who don't know what a stress fracture is, it's a microscopic fracture to a bone occurring from either overuse or repetitive stress. They are usually not due to trauma. Over the years, the Irishman has prided himself on his cardio, ever since he fizzled out in a fight against Nate Diaz in March of 2016. Already as a top-tier mixed martial arts athlete, he's putting so much stress on his body on a daily basis, especially leading up to fights, whether that be doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Muay Thai, upright fighting, lifting, or cardio. Most importantly, running and jogging to make it five five-minute rounds. Those things predispose you to stress fractures. That's number one. Number two, the guys and girls in mixed martial arts, when they're preparing for fights, usually they have to cut weight. Cutting weight restricts vitamins and minerals in their diet. Most importantly, vitamin D, phosphorus, and calcium. Those are three vitamins and minerals that are very important for bone health. If you're restricting those or lacking those, you're predisposing yourself to a stress fracture. Number three, prior injuries. 
McGregor's had a history of ankle injuries. In addition, he suffered a left ACL tear in a, leading up to a fight against Chad Mendes. Those prior injuries can cause muscle imbalances, which can also predispose a stress fracture due to placing more stress on that leg. So those stress fractures, in addition to that kick being checked by Dustin Poirier, most likely predisposed him to breaking that lower leg, that tibia and that fibula. But with McGregor having the best team around him, I have full faith that he'll make a return to the octagon in 2022. And who knows, maybe he'll even be a lightweight champion again, or there's talks of him stepping up to 170 and he might be a middleweight champion. We'll see what happens. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the content today on athlete injuries, drop a comment and let me know. The channel is continuing to grow. I appreciate all the support. Thank you guys. Stay healthy. I wish you success. We'll see you later.